Well, good morning. What have we got going on today? It's the 773, and there's no engine in the back. Why not? Well, let's take a look and I'll show you why not. But first, let's take a look at what just came in from Friday Parts. Again, you know, Friday Parts has kind of been a go-to source for me lately. Um, it seems like they have the hard to find parts and parts that I can't necessarily get from Bobcat. And, and you'll see what I mean here in just a second. Here is a box of pistons. I think you're starting to get the hint of why we don't have an engine in that machine anymore. So we've got a full engine rebuild kit here from Friday Parts. And you know, like I said, I like to stick with genuine Bobcat stuff, but the thing is, this is a Kubota engine in this Bobcat, and Bobcat doesn't really sell, I and mean, they sell all the parts in the engine, that's no problem, but not really an affordable kit. There's no way to buy all these parts individually and, and have it somewhat affordable to rebuild. A reman engine for that was about five, six thousand dollars So why do we need to rebuild it? Well, number one, here's what's, here's what's left of cylinder, I think this was number two. You know, our connecting rod completely broke in half here so that's three cylinders and then if we look at i think this was probably number three cylinder but we can see where i mean it just literally melted down there we lost a ring and uh, that scored up the cylinder rod or the uh, cylinder bore to a point where we can't just hone it we're going to have to bore this one out so we've got a couple of different options from uh, friday parts we can and that's what I like about it. They, they give you the options on these kits. So the pistons, what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to sleeve one cylinder. So I bought just an individual sleeve because I had to buy oversized pistons for the other three bores. We're gonna go 20 over, 0.5 mil, or that's basically a 20 over um, that we're gonna bore the block to to fit these pistons. And now my crankshaft down here was also destroyed where that um, connecting rod broke, it, it destroyed the crankshaft. But luckily I had a spare uh, engine in stock so I could pull the crankshaft and everything out of and, and we're going to um, use the crankshaft that I had that was in really good shape, but we've actually got to turn it like 10 under. So we had to get connecting rod and main rod bearings um, also undersized for this engine. So all those options were on fridayparts.com. We just select uh, exactly what size pistons, uh, mains and rods that we needed and they sent it all to us in a kit. We got a full gasket kit. So now what we need to do is I've already got the block at the um, engine, the rebuilder at the machine shop. So now I just got to take him all the parts, all the connecting rods that I had out of the other uh, engine and they're going to get everything put together. Then once we get all that back, we're going to do a full rebuild video on this engine. Then we'll get it installed and see how it runs. All right, today guys, we're going to be uh, doing a tear down of the. Uh... 763 engine right here behind me at a um it spun a bearing and uh broke the connecting rod on it so what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be taking down tearing apart the entire thing on it um but yeah we're just going to do a time lapse on that and we will get into that 